In this video we'll try and get a ball uh, moving around the screen. Um, the reason we're doing this is because uh, we're trying to model the Dam Busters uh, Lancaster uh, which drops a, drops a, uh, a cylindrical bomb um, and we need, so in our animation we need to be able to move move things around uh, and we're going to do that now. So we'll start with the basic three files that we've downloaded from the website in the previous video. They're the three. And uh, DAM0 is um, is the one that we're going to edit. At the moment it just draws a yellow rectangle, which is not what we want. Um, so let's edit it. I'm using Visual Studio to edit it. You could use Notepad++ or any other editor. Um, so we want to get... We'll, I think we'll start by um, trying to get a simple red ball um, of radius 20 moving around a green background width 400 and the height of it is 300. So the top left hand corner is zero zero. All the measurements are from the top left hand corner which is the origin. And so the bottom right hand corner is 400, 300. So x is equal to 400 and y is equal to 300. So x is measured in this direction and then the y is in this direction. So x is to the right and Y is starting from the top and going down. So let's get back to our code, um, which at the moment just draws a yellow rectangle. So let's um, get rid of the first line by putting in just two forward slashes, which comments out the entire line. And when it goes green, it means it doesn't do anything, it's just a comment. That's quite a nice way of switching things off if we don't want them because you might, we might want to bring it back later so we just comment it out so I'm going to change this rectangle and make it green I'll go for light green and make the um, make the top left hand corner zero that's the y that's the x and this is the y and I want the width of it to be 400 and the height of it can be 300. So let's just save that by pressing this button and um, let's have a quick look at what's happened to that and there we have a green rectangle. So if I just keep this window open I can just refresh it and get back to the code. So we've got the green rectangle and now we want a, a red circle so let's put a red circle on top of it. It's a circle. So red. X. Bit start at um, um, any position. Any Y position. And the radius we wanted to be 20. So let's just save that and see what happens reload this and now we have a red circle. The next thing we need to do is to try and make it move of its own accord. So rather than having fixed x position let's put in a variable called x and yet and up here somewhere declare what the variable is. So we've got the variable x is 100 um, and that is the x position of the circle. So let's just save that and reload it. Okay, exactly the same as what's happened before, which is good because when we get down to that line there, the x is replaced by the value of x. So it's this, we haven't changed anything. In order to make the position of X move, 
we need to put something inside the loop this means that every time it enters this loop which is every 50 milliseconds the 0 0.05 is in seconds so 0.05 is the same as 50 milliseconds or 20 times per second um, so it will do this loop 20 times per second every time it goes around that loop it's going to make x bigger by 1 so if this works we should see that red circle start moving in a positive x direction by one pixel every 20 milliseconds every 50 milliseconds so let's save it go over here and have a look yep and it's starting to move Let's see what happens when it gets to the end. Is it going to stop or bounce? No, it carries on. Make it stop when we get to the right hand side. We can do this by if x is greater than 400, then we can make x equal to 400 and what that should do when x gets to the right hand edge it should stop at the right hand edge so let's try that Oops, did I save it? no I didn't reload it and it should stop ok so it stopped when the center of the circle is equal to 400 and we didn't allow for the radius so to allow for the radius we, we need to say when the center of the circle is greater than 380 then it will then we can make it stop so if you want to make it stop on the end, make that 380. And change that to 380. And now it should stop. It should stop exactly at the right point. Okay, that's good, and it will stay there because we haven't told it how to bounce, um, which we'll do in the next video.